former president or current president, depending who you ask, Donald Trump, has been indicted on 34 felony counts. Um, this is a lot of stuff going on. It was more than just the Stormy Daniels thing like we talked about. But, I mean, it, it was uh, like all kinds of business fraud, and it was all in the state of New York. Now, Get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. He's fired. He's fired. He I know what you're clips. thinking. What's that? He had the best sound clips. I know he did. It was so good. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking. What better way to protect our sacred democracy than by having your political adversaries arrested. I know that's what you're thinking. I, we hate Putin, but we need to be exactly like him. I know that's what you're thinking. Um, so a couple developments. He wants the trial moved out of Manhattan because it's hella Democrat. It's hella liberal. Like, I don't think there is a Republican in Manhattan. It, I, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. Just but, him when it's playing Lance. Yeah, right now, him. He's the only one. Yeah. Uh, so the other reason he wants it moved, he wants it moved to Staten Island. The other reason he wants it moved is because the judge, Judge Wa the Honorable, depending on who you ask, Juan Merchan, his daughter, worked on the Kamala Harris campaign. Is that not a conflict of interest? Wow. wow. Like, I mean, come on. If this, if there, if you didn't need, or excuse me, if you need any other proof that this is a political circus and a hit job a hatchet job i don't know what to tell you other than look no further than than this video here returned by a manhattan grand jury on 34 felony counts of falsifying business records in the first degree under new york state law it is a felony to falsify business records with intent to defraud and an intent to conceal another crime that is exactly what this case is about. 34 false statements made to cover up other crimes. These are felony crimes in New York State, no matter who you are. We cannot and will not okay, that's normalize. Okay. So here's the thing. I have no problem with going after white collar criminals. I personally think they get off way more than they should, but this is a DA, the New York County DA, Alvin Bragg, who said that he was going to, to crack down on violent criminals and take the pressure off nonviolent criminals. Violent criminals like rapists, burglars, you know, murderers, things like that. And the first thing he does when he takes office is go after the former president for business fraud. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you could actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.